Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. And if you have not watched our previous videos, then watch it. In this video, we will see Hazel Cast Cash. A cache transparently stores data so that future requests for that data can be served faster. If requested data is contained in the cache, cache hit, this request can be served by simply reading the cache, which is faster. Otherwise, cache miss, the data has to be recomputed or fetched from its original storage location, which is slower. Hazelcast is the leading in memory data grid solution. Its Java caching solution enables organizations to predictably scale mission-critical enterprise applications by providing in-memory access to frequently used data. Hazelcast stores frequently accessed data in memory and across an elastically scalable data grid. This enables any network of machines to dynamically cluster and pool both memory and processors to accelerate application performance. Let's see how to implement the Hazelcast cache in Spring Boot. The code is already committed to GitHub, so let's check and download from Git. See it's downloaded, let's unzip and run it from the command prompt. So there is a command so using that we can directly run MV and Spring Boot run. Server started and running on 8080 port. Let's open in a browser. Let's check Hazelcast cache is working fine or not. So we'll start with the user and address list. Let's click on multiple times, so if it is working it won't call database again and again. Now let's check add, update and delete is working fine or not. See ad is working fine. See the update is also working fine. See delete is also working fine. Let's see what code we added to Hazelcast cache. So basically added changes in two files. One is palm xml and other is Hazelcast cache config. No changes in application properties file. Hazelcast config class annotated with enable caching and configuration. Created two methods one for the user and another for address and annotated both with bean. One common method called cache config.
Unless you delete the map entries manually or use an eviction policy, they will remain on the map. Hazelcast supports policy-based eviction for distributed maps. Currently supported policies are LRU and LFU. LRU stands for Least Recently Used. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.